Today, I want to show you a simple hack that most bass players don't know. I'll see you inside the video. Hey guys, it's James here from eBay's Guitar. And over at eBay's Guitar HQ, we're currently putting the finishing touches together for a brand new course called Fretboard Elevation. Fretboard Elevation is all about helping you master the fretboard unlock it and simultaneously grow your musicianship. One of the exercises inside fretboard elevation is called parallel or broken fifths and it sounds like this. And playing around with that exercise, I realized that the fifth is this really underused interval which is so so powerful and can create some really super cool sounding bass fills. And that's what I'm gonna show you inside today's lesson. Just before we get going, I want you to know there's a completely free PDF that comes with this lesson, which will show you everything we're discussing today, written out in standard notation and tab. There's a link in the description below where you can grab your free copy. Also, I've got one more very quick favor to ask. If you're a regular viewer of the eBay's Guitar YouTube channel, or you're watching for the very first time and love the content that we're putting together today, please hit that red subscribe button, which is somewhere around this video. What this means is we can grow the reach of the eBay's Guitar YouTube channel, and crucially for you guys, put out more free bass educational content every single week. So please hit that red subscribe button. So first of all, let me show you the groove, which is gonna be the foundation of everything we do today. So the fifth is a really super important foundational interval which is found in so many styles of music from Latin music like bossa nova through to country music through to Motown. I'm sure you've heard this sound before. And seen that shape on the fingerboard, it looks a little bit like an L shape. Here's the thing, most bass players don't take this important fifth shape out of the home position and they are missing so many opportunities because this shape can be moved all over the fretboard and used to create some really cool fills when used correctly. So let's get into the lesson, I'll show you how this works. First of all, let's take apart the foundational groove. It's a two bar groove. The first part is our core groove and then we've got to fill using the fifths at the end of it. So this is the first bar, low C, octave C, and just after the second beat, we play an open G, and then an A, and then down directly on the B flat on the third beat of the bar. So just get that under your hands to begin with. So the second bar has the fill. We rest for the first beat, then play this pattern. So let me take that apart from you. It starts with an open D, then we hammer on to an E flat, and then play the fifth above using that shape there. Then we play the open D, and then we hammer onto the F, and then play the fifth above that, which is the C. And then we play the open A, and then we hammer onto the B flat, and then play the fifth above that, which is the F. So slowly it's this. Up to tempo. So a really cool little fill. So let's play the core groove with the backing track, then I'll show you how to vary it and expand into more fifths. So this groove is all over the chord of C minor 7 and we can harmonize this if you're into theory using the C Dorian scale. So that sounds like this. But the really 
really cool thing is we can build our fifths using that scale. So I'm gonna show you how to use the fifths coming off the D string because that's a really simple way to start building our fills. So the first set of fifths that work are an E and a B flat. The next set are an F and a C. The next set that work are a G and a D like that. And notice how it's exactly the same shape. Now here's the little quirk. Once in this sequence of notes, it changes. And this is all to do with the construction of the major and the minor scale. So here's where it changes. We go to an A and a B flat like that, and we get this flattened fifth sound. Then we continue on using the fifth shape. So a B flat and F will work. And then a C and a G will work. A D and an A will work. And then we get up an octave to an E flat and a B flat. And these set of fifths will give us loads of options to create fills. So with this concept, there are literally infinite ways you could arrange fills using this one concept. But to make things simple, I'm gonna give you three bass lines with three fills attached to it. I'll write them out in the PDF which comes with this lesson. So let's look at fill number one. So this is what the first fill sounds like. So throughout all of these fills, I'm gonna continue that cool idea of hammering off the open string because I love that sound. So here's the fill, take it apart, open D, E flat, B flat, open D, F and C, open D, G and D like so. So let's play that in time now with the backing track so you can hear it in context. So let's look at fill number two. It sounds like this. And again. So what that is, open D, hammer onto G, and then a D there. You can use a third finger or a fourth finger there. It's completely up to you how you want to form that shape. Then the next one is open D, B flat and F. And then the next one is open D, C and G. All of this is written out in the free PDF and tabbed out too. So make sure you download your free copy. So this is what the riff sounds like. Or fill rather. So let's play the whole riff and the fill with the backing track so you can hear it in action. <laughs> Now for fill number three, we're going to jump up to the high E flat and play this fill. And again, as always, bouncing off the open D, we're going to play the E flat there, the B flat, then we're going to bounce off the open D, play the D and the A, open D again, and then play C and G. So, up to tempo. So let's put that riff together with the fill and the original groove. So those three fills are just the tip of the iceberg. Once you've got those down, I encourage you to play around with it and see what you can discover. There is so much sitting in that fifth shape, just moving it up and down the fretboard. Now to finish this lesson off, I'm gonna have a jam based on that groove so you can see where these ideas can go.
that's the end of today's lesson i really hope you've enjoyed it grab that free pdf which is in the description below so you can see everything written out using the standard notation and tab of course and of course if you want to lay your hands on fretboard elevation we'll be releasing this in over the next couple of weeks or so if you're a bass lab plus member over at ebay's guitar this will go straight into your membership if you want to check out the bass lab plus which is my step-by-step -step members training program for beginner to intermediate bass players who want to take their bass playing to that more advanced level make sure you click the link which is in the description below because you can join completely free today so you can take it for a road test cheers i've been james from ebassguitar.com i will catch you next week